Hi everybody. I am back and I actually have a very, very, very small haul from Vintage Chic. This is something that is very unusual. I'm not really the kind of person to actually order some Vintage Chic. I, I'm kind of indifferent to her wax, honestly, but I decided to go ahead and review my order anyway. I decided to place an order to see, you know, if I could even get anything because her wax is kind of hard to get. And I was actually lucky to get this stuff. I'm going to start with my little sample here. This is Lori Strode's Zucchini. And this is pumpkin, cream brulee, and zucchini bread. Now, I'm going to be very, very honest. If it wasn't for the fact that there's pumpkin and cream brulee in this, I probably wouldn't even give this a chance. I'm really just not a big fan of zucchini. But I'm going to try melting this anyway. The pumpkin and the creme brulee might actually make the difference. I hope it does. It doesn't smell bad, honestly. It doesn't smell bad. I just, I hope I can actually melt this. I'm just not really big into zucchini, but because of the, primarily because there's pumpkin in here, I'm going to give this a shot. So thanks for that little sample. And then uh, the order I actually have is two packs of ghost melts. They are so adorable. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, this one first. Now this one has a scent that seems to be popular with a lot of people who order from Vintage Chic. This is called Jackie O's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And I know Jackie O is a very popular scent with a lot of people. Um, and this is rich vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and a side of pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, I do love pumpkin pecan waffles, so um, this is probably the best way I can actually get the, an idea of what Jackie O is like. So, as I've said, um, I have watched some uh, hauls and distashes and things like that about uh, Vintage Chic scents. I'm kind of aware of what Kirby offers, so this is such... It is cute. It is cute. It's big. Look at this thing. It's huge. I have a lot of wax to last me a long time, and despite the fact that I do have a little bit of a head cold, I can actually smell this. I like it. It is interesting. Um, how it's going to perform when it's, it's um, melting, I'm not 100% sure. Let me just look up. That'll work. So that is my first set of um, ghost melts. They are so adorable. And uh, the other one that I actually got that I actually like better is L. They spell the, the, the two L's are the ones. Is it supposed to be L? Is it supposed to be E11E? I don't even know, honestly. But this is toasted ego <laughs> toasted ego waffles smeared with cinnamon and sugar butter. Now th these smell good. These these really smell good. Mm. I don't know why, but it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of cinnamon toast crunch, just a little bit. That wasn't a bad breakfast cereal, but uh, I was still a Golden Grams fan growing up myself more than cinnamon toast crunch. But the point is, it smells good. It smells real good. So that is L or E11E or whatever this is supposed to, how are we supposed to say this, whatever. I'm just calling it L because whatever. So that is my little haul from Vintage Chic. Like I say, um, it's hard to get her stuff. I went to her Etsy and picked this up and I'm probably going to continue to do that in the future if I ever order again from Vintage Chic, which I admit I, I'm probably going to do that again. I mean, her wax is not bad. Um, I'm definitely a lot more impressed with how this smells compared with my first order. I waited for that to cure for a long, long time and it still didn't feel very strong, I think, but uh, because these are actually, I heard somewhere that her bakery blends actually do have a pretty good throw to them if you let them cure a little bit, but I'm going to be very honest, 
I actually can smell these. So they are pretty strong from what I can tell. And I can smell them despite the fact I have a head cold. So that's good. I don't know if she's improved her formula or what has she done, but I don't know. Anyway, that is my vintage chic order. And this time, as I've said, I'm impressed. And I can't wait to actually melt this stuff. I will probably let this cure for at least another week or so where we'll actually start to melt it and then we'll see how it does. But anyway, that is my order. And uh, yeah, check out uh, Kirby's Wax um, on VintageChicSense.com, I think, and uh, Vintage Chic Sense on Etsy. So she's got some okay stuff as far as I can tell. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.